The term congenital heart disease refers to a group of problems with the heart. In general, one thinks of congenital heart disease as being a problem with the development of the heart. In the first trimester of pregnancy, before eight weeks of gestation, the heart goes very quickly from being a simple tube to the usual four-chambered beating structure that we think of as the heart. And then from then on, in the second and third trimesters, it really just grows. Early on in development, then, is very important. And if something doesn't form completely or forms abnormally, say a valve uh, is incompletely formed or if there's a large hole or if the connections aren't made properly, the baby can end up with congenital heart disease at birth with diagnoses that have names and ranges like transposition of the great arteries, hypoplastic left heart syndrome, tetralogy of Fallot. The congenital heart diseases that I treat also include abnormalities of the conduction system in the heart, the heart rhythm uh, abnormalities such as supraventricular tachycardia or bradycardia. All of these are just generally things that a baby is born with, which is what we mean when we say congenital heart disease, although the spectrum of congenital heart disease is quite broad.